So the new Fiverr success score has been absolutely destroying some people's gigs. Success score is not increasing. Low score after update. Success score has been lowered after two positive reviews. This system is incredibly obscure and frustrating. Fiverr is always doing trash updates. These are just a couple of the comments I've been seeing on my videos and in the Fiverr forums of people who have had seemingly high performing gigs that suddenly dropped dramatically after the introduction of Fiverr's new success score as their leveling system, resulting in a lot of gigs making a lot less money. So I'm gonna try to make it my mission to help you guys figure out how to do Fiverr in a way that benefits the new Fiverr success score system so that you can go back to making money on Fiverr with your Fiverr gigs. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be addressing a lot of the things that a lot of people are saying they're experiencing with the success score in this video. So while reviewing and collecting feedback from all of you to make this video, I've noticed one trend that was a bit interesting. Everyone more or less has a slightly different experience with Fiverr success score and how it's been affecting their gigs. However, most people experience a very similar negative outcome with their Fiverr gigs. So typically people seem to be all good on Fiverr before the success score. They were getting a lot of orders, a lot of positive ratings, and they were even top rated or level two seller status. But after the success score got rolled out, their new score was terrible, like much, much worse than the rating that they had via the previous Fiverr leveling system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these comments that you guys have been leaving all over the internet on the screen here and talk through them in a way that I think is logical and might help you guys bounce back and play within the rules of Fiverr's new success score leveling system. And if that sounds awesome and you're like, wow, Mike is such a nice guy. He's being super helpful. This is going to help me make more money on Fiverr. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like this video. All right. So the first one that we're going to be reviewing is from Tavo Harry. This system is incredibly obscure and frustrating. I still don't understand the criteria for evaluating many of the categories and the fact that we can't rely on public reviews adds to the problem. The five star rating system is currently pointless and is going to create more distrust between sellers and buyers. I hope they realize and fix these issues. So that's a good comment and I'm going to break that down a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to say is that if the new success score system is a little hard to understand, I highly encourage you to visit Fiverr success score webpage and read through what makes up the success score. You could even watch the first video I made on the Fiverr success score that I'll put on the screen and link in the description where I break down each criteria of the success score because there are a lot of different criteria that may not have mattered so much before the success score. So that's number one. The second thing I'm going to address here is something that a lot of people have been asking about. Do reviews and ratings still matter? And the answer is yes. So how you I think we need to start looking at the success score is that ratings do matter. But we've known for a long time that Fiverr also sends little emails to people after they've rated an order to ask how their experience truly was, because there's a lot of situations where as a seller, you ask someone to rate your order, they give you five stars. Maybe they just do that because you know they wanna be nice or something like that. But Fiverr is still concerned about the overall buyer seller experience. So ratings do matter, but now there's a whole bunch of other criteria that also matter. So don't give up on ratings review what matters, try to figure out what part, what part of the success score calculation is affecting your gigs and focus on that. So for example, effective communication is one that I think a lot of people are confused about. It doesn't just mean response rate. How helpful are you being? You know, um, are you setting clear expectations? Basically, you know, as effective communication as an example, Fiverr wants the experience on Fiverr to be more of a professional business experience. So if you're someone who's in the habit of just churning out orders, delivering, getting a review and moving on to the next one, try to think about how you might be able to offer more of a white glove experience because Fiverr AI seems to be scanning conversations and wants to know that you're having good rapport, good back and forth, helpful back and forth with your customers. So here's another comment from Timestamp Please. Fiverr is always doing trash updates. I have worked like five years in there. 
from that long time, there are issues that sellers experience, even little issues like struck middle in the file uploading and start to re-upload the files again when there are multiple files uploaded. They don't update that simple things. Instead, they always give pressure. Okay, so th this one is, I think, just a little bit of frustration that a lot of people have towards Fiverr in general. They do big updates like the success score, but then certain things like uploading files still take a lot of time. Um, what I gotta say, and if you're feeling like timestamp please, and you're a little frustrated about all the updates, we gotta roll with the punches, right? Fiverr is a platform run by a business, right? It, it's in their interest to be able to make money while balancing buyer expectations and seller expectations, and it's not always going to be perfect. So for things like file upload, not much we can do there. Make sure we have a stable internet connection. But when it comes to updates like this, if we still want to leverage a platform like Fiverr to make money, we do have to try to play by the new rules and figure out a way to modify our business to fit the new success score and updates that they're rolling out. So here's another comment. Hi, sir, I need your help. Due to the new level system, my success score is stuck at four. My gigs do not appear in search. How will I increase my success score? The reason is that my gigs do not appear in search. How will I work with clients? How will I increase my success score? Okay, so this is a common question I've been seeing a lot. If your success score is low, that might increase your gigs visibility. So what do you do? How do you boost it? Well, <clears throat> The simplest answer here is making sure that you are taking full advantage of every opportunity you have to increase your success score. If a prospect messages you and they're not yet a buying customer, have a great conversation with them. Send them a quote, ask them about their requirements, ask them how, how they want you to help, ask them what would be most important to them. Really, you need to take what little traffic you're getting if you have a negative success score and you're trying to build it back up and do the best job possible to try to improve your reputation on Fiverr as you start getting those next couple orders that hopefully you do a really, really, really good job on and then your success score keeps raising. But with one like this as well, if you're in this situation where your success score seems to be low and you're like, I need to bump it up, first thing you should do review the key areas that make up success score, client satisfaction, effective communication, conflict free orders, order cancellations, delivery time and value for money. So some of these are carry forward from the last system like order cancellations, we all know that's bad. Uh, delivery time, we all know that it's very important to deliver our orders on time. Conflict free orders is kind of an extension of order cancellations, right? They don't want to see us arguing with customers. So to do that, I think if we were to focus on one thing that would help knock out as many of these key areas as possible, it would be effective communication. So if you feel like that's an area that you need help improving on, send me a comment on this video with the specific scenario. You had a tough time communicating with your clients around and I'll do my best to give you some tools and tricks and conversation strategies to help you improve in that way. Here's another comment from Ayaz Khan. My gigs stop being promoted before the new Fiverr update. All my gigs are not show showing in the search place. Okay, so first thing I'll mention, um, because a lot of people seem to get really preoccupied with searching for their own gigs. The success score is an indicator that Fiverr is now using more machine learning and more AI to serve gigs to people, to rate sellers, and to figure out how to match buyers with sellers. So with that in mind, we have to have it in the back of our head that we might not be able to see our own gigs on Fiverr. Fiverr might just not be serving our own gigs to us on Fiverr because that would be a vanity metric. If we're viewing our own gig from our own computer, our own IP address, that would just be a fake click, a fake view. It wouldn't help us and it doesn't really help Fiverr understand whether our gigs are being surfaced to the right type of buyer. So I wouldn't worry too much if you can't see your gig in search. I would instead go to your gig stats page and see if your gig is getting impressions. Is it getting impressions? Is it getting clicks? If any of those numbers are above zero, it means your gig is showing in search. And now you should just focus on how you can actually convert the people seeing your gigs into clients. Don't worry too much about whether you can see it. Check your stats. If there are numbers there, it means it is in search. Okay, here's one from Zane Wasim. 
please talk about how I can improve my communication, effective communication. Okay, so if we read the effective communication key area on Fiverr success score page, it says this, effective communication is determined by your responsiveness, helpfulness, and ability to set clear expectations. Be professional and polite. Ask any necessary questions and answer clients questions promptly. Explain your process and share your progress along the way. Okay. So how do we break that down? So one of the metrics in effective communication is timeliness. They message you, you got to respond quickly. That's the most basic. But now when we read the best practices that five are setting out, there are a couple things you might want to work into your process to make it a more professional experience. Obviously be polite. Um, Another one, and I talk about this in a lot of videos, has to do with discovery, asking questions to your buyers before they place an order so you fully understand what they need and how you can help. Ask questions that will help you build an understanding of how you can help them. Fiverr's AI is gonna be looking for that. Are you asking questions? Then, um, when they've said, okay, you know, you've answered all my questions, take a moment to explain to them how to best work with you. Okay, typically, um, once we have an understanding that I can help, uh, you'll have to submit an order and complete my requirements gathering questions. If there's any questions about anything you've submitted, I'll reach out to you. Once I have all the information I need, I'll get started on the project and I'll check in with you along the way. That's an important one too. If you get an order and the order has begun, message them a couple days in. Hey, just an FYI, I'm working on this. Things are going well. We'll keep you updated. That's something that Fiverr is looking for too, so that buyers don't feel like they place an order and then they're just waiting for you to deliver it. Keep them updated throughout the process. That should really help boost your effective communication score. Okay, so here's a comment from Skyline Inc. That, that is terrible. My success score became eight to six today. That is terrible. I've done more than 400 orders, zero cancellations, five star ratings all the time. This system is ridiculous. I feel your pain, man, and a lot of people are in this situation. The system has changed. Ratings and reviews are still important, but they're not the only factor anymore. Cancellations, still important, not the only factor anymore. If you fall into this situation where you have a high volume of completed orders and they're all five stars and your su success score dropped, you need to pause, review the metrics, and figure out where you're going wrong with the new system. I would bet, based on what I'm seeing, a lot of these are coming from effective communication. So focus on that. Check in throughout the process. Ask them questions. Be polite. Be courteous. Give them updates. If you fall into this situation, message me in the comments of this video letting me know, hey, my effective communication score dropped. Check some of your past orders. Review your conversations with them. Try to see if you can identify where you may have dropped the ball and I'll do my best to give you some tips on how you can do better on the next one. So here's a comment from Zerfan. When will it change? If I do not get any orders, will it never change? So this is a really good question and one that we kind of touched on before. Well, yes, a lot of these areas are probably measured by interactions you're having with customers during the process of completing an order once they've placed an order. Some of these can be influenced by potential clients who are messaging you before placing an order. Specifically, we mentioned this before, effective communication and value for money. So make sure your gigs are priced accurately and make sure even if someone has not placed an order with you yet, that you're taking the time to understand what they need, having a conversation with them. If you notice that you're the type of client who answers a couple questions and goes, okay, place an order. When are you going to place an order? Place an order. Here's my best price. And you're pushing them to order. That might be a factor that's negatively impacting your success score, even if you don't get an order. So that's an opportunity when people are messaging you, inquiring about your services before hiring you, effective communication could potentially help boost your score, even if you haven't gotten another order yet. So here's a comment from Rapin. Fiverr can read conversations, that's creepy. The answer to, I have to this one is, my friend, we live in a, a digital information age. Fiverr is not the only one reading our conversations. Every device and every app you use is probably using some form of machine learning to categorize the type of buyer or seller bucket that you fall into. So can Fiverr read conversations? Yes. Is this a new thing? 
No, we're working on their platform, which is a closed ecosystem that they manage. Fiverr has to be able to read conversations to try to filter out junk on the platform. And especially with the new success score system, using AI to read these conversations based on rules and signatures they've created of what looks like good behavior. That's how Fiverr can try to help make a better experience without actually having a human scrolling through and reading all of our conversations manually. But yeah, they can read our conversations. So make sure you're doing a great job and you're practicing effective communication. So here's another comment. The new Fiverr success score is straight hot trash. So whether I agree or disagree, unfortunately, doesn't matter. Um, what we think about the success score, at least in the present, it really doesn't matter because it might take a long time for Fiverr to change this or roll out a new update with a more optimized system. So my advice to you, my friend, and everyone else who feels this way that this update sucks is do your best to play within the new parameters of how Fiverr wants to work. Fiverr is, believe it or not, a great platform to work on still. It is a huge marketplace where there are a lot of buyers and a lot of sellers. Sure, there is some junk that slips through the cracks. Sure, there are some updates like this one that might make things a little bit more difficult in the short term but I'm hoping videos like this one can help you turn things around. So if you have any questions or aspects of the new rating system that are bugging you and making it difficult for you, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to address your specific concern. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is what was my follow up to my first video on the success score where I talked about it. Um, I think the, the key finding that I'm noticing so far, we're about a month and a half into this new system, I believe, is that effective communication is probably the biggest area for improvement that will help a lot of sellers. So if you have questions about effective communication or you have experienced past exchanges with your clients that you think may have negatively impacted your effective communication score, message me in the comments and I will get you an answer. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Good luck. Hope this helps you start the process of turning things around on Fiverr. Love you guys. Cheers.